Okay, today's topic is from 11 science and we will understand the chapter 2 and the today's topic is unit uh, today's topic is dimensions and dimensional analysis. Now, uh, what is dimensions and what, uh, dimensional analysis? For that we will understand the derived quantity. The any physical quantity which is which can be derived from the seven fundamental base quantity. If you consider velocity, the velocity can be written as displacement upon time. So we can say velocity is a derived quantity. Now here there are seven fundamental quantities or you can say seven base quantities are there in the SI system. So these uh, seven fundamental quantities are nothing but the mass, length, time, electric current, thermodynamic temperature, amount of substance and the luminous intensity. Now these uh, quantities are written in a sub-abbreviated form. Here mass is uh, we are writing as capital M. The length is written as capital L. The time is written as capital T. Understand? The time is capital T. The electric current is uh, written uh, from the, the, the scientist name Ampere, capital A. The thermodynamic temperature is written as capital, uh, it is K. The amount of substance is MOL, mole. And the luminous intensity is written by this, this unit candela, CD. So we will not write mass, we will write capital M. We will not write length, we will write capital L. And then we will do the, some analysis. And by this analysis, we will understand what is the nature of the physical quantity. Now, what is the dimensional formula that we have to understand? When any physical quantity is expressed, it is expressed in appropriate powers of mass, length, time. And that such expression is called dimensional formula. Any physical quantity we are expressing, expressing by appropriate power of math, mass, length, time, mass, length, time, and that such expression is called dimensional formula. Now the power or exponent of mass, length, and time is called the dimensions of physical quantity. If whatever the power is there, whatever the exponent is there, of that physical quantity, mass, length and time is known as dimensions of physical quantity. Now if you consider velocity, here we are considering velocity V. We are writing every physical quantity in a square bracket and the velocity is written by the displacement upon time interval. Now displacement is a length. You can have the one point to another point, the displacement is a length, so we are writing displacement is a L and the time interval is a T capital T. So the dimension formula of velocity can be written as L T raised to minus 1 and we can write, we can see there is no mass. So mass is having 0 power. So we can write M raised to 0, L raised to 1 and T raised to minus 1. We can write its dimensions. What is the dimension of velocity? The dimension of velocity 0 in mass, 1 in length and minus 1 in time. And from this, K T is having 0 in mass, there is no mass. 1 in length, there is 1 length. And minus 1 is in time. So this is giving the nature of the physical quantity and that is the use of dimensional formula. Okay, now we will see uses of dimensional analysis. And in which the first uh, use of this dimensional analysis is the checking dimensional consistency of equation. We will find out that uh, the equation is uh, dimensionally consistent or not. Now in this there is a one concept which is known as homogeneity of the equation. What is the homogeneity of equation? If you are having length, the length can be added with the length. The time is added with the time. If you are having 10 meter, then 10 meter plus 20 meter. The meter is added with the meter. That kind of concept we can consider as a homogeneity of each dimensions. The magnitude of physical quantity which is having same dimension can be added, can be added together or it can be subtracted from one another. That principle is called principle of homogeneity of dimensions. If you are having length that if it is 10 meter and then it is nothing but the it is 20 second. 10 meter and the second meter is having say, different dimension and time is having different dimension. They cannot be added. This is not possible. 
so this is the principle which is known as the principle of homogeneity of equation now we will see okay, how this uh, this equation are consistent with the uh, yeah we can apply this formula now we will take equation v is equal to v0 plus at where v is a final velocity v0 is a initial velocity a is a acceleration and t is a time interval and we want to see this equation is dimensionally consistent or not now we will write down the le left hand side lhs which is v and v is equal to we are writing the dimensional formula of velocity which is nothing but m0 l1 t minus 1 similarly on right hand side there is a v0 plus at so in a v0 and there is the addition of at a is acceleration and t is a time interval we will write the dimension of v0 which is m0 l1 t minus 1 which is fine initial velocity and a into t this is the dimension of acceleration acceleration dimensional formula is m0 l1 t minus 2 meter per second square and the t is a dimension of t t1 now the final dimension of at will comes out to be m0 l1 t minus 1 now you can see the dimension of v is m0 l1 t minus 1 the dimension of v0 is also m0 l1 t minus 1 and dimensional of at is also m0 l1 t minus 1 you can see all are having same dimensions so we can say this equation is dimensionally consistent and that is a one of the important use of the dimensional analysis okay in uh, uses of dimensional analysis we are uh, having another use of dimensional analysis the deducing we are de uh, we are going to find out the relation among the physical quantities or we can say deducing the relation among the physical quantity we can make new physical uh, physical relations by this dimensional analysis now we are taking one of the example for understanding this uses of dimensional analysis in this we are considering the speed of sound wave in medium it depends on the pressure of gas and density of medium it is given some of the data will be given to you Okay, this physical quantity is depending on these quantities so you find out what is the relation of that physical quantity so here we are given the speed of sound wave it depends on the pressure and the density of medium so we will write the v the v is proportional to p raised to x and density raised to y p is a pressure and rho is a density and we are considering the pressure is having x di x power and density is having y power just we have considered now we will uh, remove the proportionality and we will write the one constant and that constant is dimension less constant which is having no dimension k is known as dimension less constant and we will write v is equal to k p raised to x into density raised to y rho raised to y now we will write out the, uh, the dimension of v velocity which is m0 l1 t minus 1 which is equal to k and the pressure dimensional formula is m1 l minus 1 t minus 2 and this pressure is we are considering it is having x power so m1 l minus 1 t minus 2 is having x power similarly density a density is a mass upon volume means it is m1 l is to minus 3 and it is having y power now we are multiplying the power with the dimensions so when you multiply with the power with the dimension the equation would be k into m raised to x l raised to minus x t raised to minus 2x and similarly the density dimensions yeah, dim density dimensional formula would be m raised to y and l raised to minus 3y now you can see this is m is having x power and m is having y power so this power will be added and the new equation would be m raised to x plus y Similarly, L is, L is having minus x power and L is having minus 3y power. So, we will write L raised to minus x minus 3y and T is having minus 2x power. And they are equated with the speed of sound wave and speed of sound wave down dimension of formula is m0 L1 T minus 1. Now, we are equating the dimensions on both sides. They are having equal dimensions. Whatever the dimension is here, the same dimension will be on the left hand side. So we can say the m is having zero power. So here m is having zero, uh, m is having x plus power, x plus y power. So these dimensions should be same. So we are writing x plus y is equal to zero. 
this is the mass and this is also mass here left hand side mass is having 0 power and right hand side mass is having x plus y power so we can write x plus y equal to 0 similarly you can say length is having 1 power and here length is having minus x minus 3y power so we can write another formula which is minus x minus 3y equal to 1 and similarly t raised to time is having minus 1 power and here time is having minus 2x power so another formula will be minus 2x is equal to minus 1 now we can write from this equation x is equal to 1 by 2 and here this 1 by 2 we will place here on in this equation so we can write y is equal to minus 1 by 2 x and y was unknown for us and that we have found from this equation and we have found that x is having 1 by 2 power x is a power of pressure and y is a power of density so we can write v is equal to p raised to 1 by 2 and rho raised to minus 1 by 2 that we have written from this formula p raised to x and rho raised to y x is 1 by 2 and y is minus 1 by 2 and k which is dimensionless constant and for the sake of simplicity we can say k is equal to 1 yes here uh, we cannot find out the dimensionless constant that is a limitation of dimensional dimension analysis so we are writing the k is equal to 1 so our formula of speed of sound wave is square root of p upon rho pressure upon density and that's how we can find out any any unknown physical relation you are given the dependence and you can find out any unknown physical relation this is the one of the best application of dimensional analysis